Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashen, and if you are looking for a great solution to send from your form submissions on your WordPress website over to a Google Sheet, I'm gonna show you how to do that all right now. Hey y'all, this is another WordPress Wednesday. Thanks for joining me today. I'm very excited to bring you this solution. We are gonna be talking about a premium solution. Most of you know if you follow my channel, I love being in the budget of free, but we're asking for a lot of bang for your buck right now. We're asking for a really cool solution that can dynamically dump content succinctly with our fields over into our columns and our rows of a Google spreadsheet, right? I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. It's actually really quick. Check this out. Hey, by the way, you guys, this is brought to you by Liquid Web, the most helpful humans in hosting. If you are looking for a great hosting service, if you need extra support for your WordPress website, if you need faster service or better security, be sure to check them out because they are by far the most helpful humans in hosting. All right, let's get to it. It is WS Form. That is the plugin that I am suggesting that we're using for this process, right? I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it step by step. They do have a free version of this awesome form builder that you get a lot of value out of. But in order to do what we wanna do and kind of extend its capabilities, we want to do a pro version so that we can come in here and have this add-on right here for Google Sheets. This is gonna load our Google Sheets in real time. It can match any cell, any field, any sheet inside of a sheet. It is so cool and and you guys, the bonus is if we make the sheet first, it will build the form for us. Let me show you how it's done right now. You're gonna come here to this website. You'll purchase the WS form. I went ahead and purchased out the all access because we have a lot of websites and I wanna use it across the board. Once you've done that, you can come into your account and you can go into downloads. You're gonna to wanna to download the form builder itself, right? You're gonna download that. And then depending upon what level you have, you might have the add-ons here. Of course, I have the add-ons because that's what I needed most. You'll come here to Google Sheets and you'll download that one as well. Once you have both of those, you're gonna jump into your dashboard. Once you're here in your dashboard, you'll go to plugins and say add new because obviously we need to upload the plugin since we just downloaded it. It's not gonna live here in the regular repository. We need to go here to upload plugin. And I've already uploaded the actual base form builder, WS Form Pro, I've already installed that. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the Google Sheets zipped file and install now. And we can go ahead and click Activate Plugin. And you'll see those living here now. The next step is to go ahead and get the license key so that we can show proof of purchase and be certain that it functions properly. So you'll jump back over to your account inside of WS Form and go to your downloads area and get that license key and bring it back over to our dashboard. Since I'm using a active key, I'm gonna do all that off camera. Okay, so when you do have that license key on your clipboard, you'll jump back into your dashboard and you'll go into WS Form and go to settings. And now we've got Google Sheets that lives right over here. See this section here? You'll click on this little tab and get here to go ahead and put in your license key. You'll see here, this is the section here that you'll just copy and paste it in. Once that's in there, we're able to actually connect to our Google Sheet that we wanna to connect to. And it's gonna ask you which account to choose. We're gonna choose the account and it's asking us permission to sync them. So we're gonna go ahead and click allow. And that's easily done, done. That's it, you guys, that was it. Now you jump into your Google Drive, right? And let's go ahead and create the spreadsheet that we want to fill out dynamically. I'm gonna click blank. You can name it whatever you want. I'm actually gonna build out a leads sheet, okay? And I'm gonna do leads 2020. That's gonna be my sheet. Um, I want the field of name. I want phone number that we're gonna require. I want an email address. I want their message. And I mean, literally you can map any field here. You can map services that they were interested in. And if you had a drop down on your form, it would put their selection here. That's how cool this is. I'm gonna stretch this out just a little bit and I'm gonna add in the date submitted 
because I want to track when these leads are coming in and dynamically dumping into here, right? So I'm just going to make my sheet look a little pretty just for the sake of having it look pretty. I don't know. I just want it to look nice and professional looking. So I'm going to do a couple of adjustments here. I'm going to change my font to white. I kind of like the way this looks, kind of nice. And you notice just inside of here, down here at the bottom, just like a regular Excel spreadsheet, you can have different tabs or different sheets inside of this sheet. So I'm going to put here as coming from our website, right? So I'm going to say doggy dip and do. That's one of my always uh, examples on this channel. So this is, you can put your website, you can put your department, whatever you want this to reference, because of course you can add as many sheets as you wanted to inside of this thing and actually parse out the information. You can get as creative as you want to right now. Okay, so this sets up the sheet the way I want it to be. I'm going to jump back over into my dashboard. I already have a few forms that I've created. And of course, if you did already have some WS forms living here, you can sync those. WS form even has a builder. If you have forms in a different program, it will completely build those forms for you. I mean, this thing's a beast. It's an incredible forms builder. I'm going to go into add new here. And now that I have that add-on in here, check this out. I have this Google Sheets living right here. And I'm going to click refresh on this. So it goes to my account and finds my different sheets that I, I have in that Google Drive. This is the one right here that we want to use, Leads 2020. This is the one we just made. I'm going to click create. It's retrieving that. It's asking me which sheet inside of there I want to build out right now. I called it the doggy dip and do for my imaginary veterinarian hospital. That might also be like a doggy salon. I'm going to click create and watch this thing go to work. It's going over to my sheet. And what it's doing is it's grabbing these field names right here, anything that I created up here, it's grabbing to create for me. And there it is, you guys. It's made every single field right there. It's got a submit and a reset button and opt in. If you don't want the reset button, it's okay. You can remove anything on here. You can completely customize this to sit any which way you want. Get as creative as you can with it if you'd like. If you need to require fields, we're going to come in here and require the fields. Um, this one right here, this date submitted, I really don't want the end user to fill that out. So I am going to hide that field and I am going to have the value of that field dynamically populated. I am going to click on this little hamburger and look at all of these amazing things that you can choose from. It's just this incredible, incredible list. Just amazing. I want to, though, for the sake of this, I want to grab the blog's current time so uh, and date, actually. You can actually grab the time if you wanted to, but I'm going to grab the current date. This is going to pull the date off of our website on there, right? There you go. That's it. That's all you need. And I'm going to click save. All right, you guys. It's this simple. I'm going to click publish so that the form is actually live online now. And I can preview this. Of course, you can put this form into any page, any post, anywhere on your WordPress website, in the sidebar, in the footer, wherever you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out, Corey Ashton, and I'm going to put a fake phone number in there. So this is just totally random. I'm going to use my real email address because I'm totally open to you guys emailing me anytime you want. You know, it's very difficult to talk and type at the same time. This is my message to you, ooh, ooh, right? There you go. And I'm going to click that and click submit. Watch this, y'all. You ready? Thank you for your inquiry. It's already been submitted. It's done. Check this out. I'm jumping over here real time. There's the name. There's the phone number. This is my message. And there's the date submitted. Look at that. How cool is this, you guys? I mean, and it's just going to list these back to back to back. If we went and filled that form out again, let's go here. Let's fill it out again. And let me show you. It's just going to drop it in the next row. Corey Ashton and a different phone number, right? And here you go. Corey at askcorey.com. And we're going to put a second message here. And we are going to opt in. 
and click submit. And we're gonna get our confirmation message here. And I'm jumping over in real time and there it is. Second message here, look at this, isn't this beautiful? Then you can refilter this any way you want. Ah, oh, it's just so cool. I love it. I love it. So what happens if you already had a form created and you just want to go ahead and map it over to your Google Sheet? You can do that easily. You'll just come in here to your form that you already have created inside a WS form. And you're going to look at your different fields that you have. First name, last name, email, phone, and message. So you'll come over here and create those columns, right? First name, last name, phone, email. And what was it? Message, I think, right? Message. You can make that again as wide as you want it to be. Cool. Okay. So that's that now. Let's get back over here. We've got first name, last name, email, phone, and message. That was correct. So now if you already have a form built and you can come up here to the action button, this little thunderbolt that looks like a, a little lightning bolt up here. Come up here and this is your actions button. You can actually add, see this little plus sign? We can add a new action of add to Google Sheets. How cool is this? Right here, we're gonna click refresh that it goes over there and finds our sheets for us. We're looking for leads 2020. We are gonna refresh this here and we are gonna look for our sheet two is where we wanna sync this particular form over to, right? And then we wanna use this section here to map our fields. I'm gonna refresh just so it goes and gets my fields correctly. Clicking plus, I'm gonna get first name and we're gonna go with first. I'm gonna do last name field and go with last. Notice this first column references your form, which is over here. And the second column references our Google Sheet column, right? So I'm gonna add another field that I wanna track called phone and I'm gonna map it to the phone field. It's this simple, you guys. How cool is this? That my email goes to my email field and then my your message goes into your message. Okay, there it is. Done deal, click save, come up here to the top, click publish so that now all of our changes are live. Let's preview this and test it and see if it actually worked for us going into our form into that second sheet. Testing, oops, testing over into the second sheet. There you go, and click Submit. And it should take us to a thank you page because this one's a little different. I have, there you go, a thank you page now renders. And then jumping over here, look at you guys, I'm in my second sheet and here it is, Corey Ashton phone number testing over into the second sheet. I mean, that's real time. You don't get any faster than that. It's dumping right here. If I had shared this sheet with anybody, they have access to see all of this. How cool is this? So if I had team members that needed to access this and get to this content, uh, of course, Google Drive will also allow you to get to content offline. So there are ways to do that. This is just such a cool and more efficient way of collecting data and letting your team get access to it and limiting their access to your WordPress dashboard. Y'all, I'm blown away. I am just so blown away. I totally nerded out on this tutorial because I am not a developer. I don't know how to code. So I lean a lot on plugins to do a lot of heavy lifting for me. And a lot of times you get some wonky plugins that just don't do what they advertise. WS Form does exactly what it advertises every single time. I've been so impressed with their solution as well as their support. So please, if you go over there and purchase this, let them know that Corey Ashton sent you their way. Please let them know that you appreciate such a great resource in our WordPress community because this really truly shines. It's such a great product. All right, you guys, I hope you are staying safe in this amazing, extraordinary time that we're living in right now with the coronavirus. Uh, you're absolutely in my thoughts and prayers as we are going through this all together. Know that you can reach out to me over on Twitter. You can come to my website and check out some things. You can leave a comment in the thread below, but please circle back next Wednesday because I will be right here helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. See y'all next time. Bye everyone.